Hello, my name is Keith. I'm a consultant with Stratford Technology, and today I'm going to be talking about SmartView and the difference between shared and private connect. When using SmartView, there are two types of connections, as I said, shared and private. Each of these connection types has a unique syntax, as you can see here. So the first URL that you see is for a shared connection. It requires a server name and a port. And the second URL is for a private connection. It also requires a server name and a port, but as you can see, the syntax is slightly different. Also, if you're using version 11.1.2.3 and earlier, uh, the, the private connection syntax is slightly different. Okay, so let's go into SmartView and show you how it works. First thing that you want to do when using SmartView is, is set up your shared connection. Um, most people use shared connections because typically they're connecting to just one environment at a time. and Typically that's your production environment. There are some instances where you may want to connect to two different environments at the same time. For example, a production environment and a test environment. Um, if you're making changes in a test environment and you want to test those changes, a lot of times you want to compare the data to make sure that it hasn't changed. So you'd want to compare the data in production to the data in your test environment. And in that case, uh, you'd want to use private connections uh, so that you can connect to the two different environments at the same time and compare the data. A lot of times people will use Smart Group for that. And so that's one example of when you might need to connect to two different environments at the same time. So let's set up our shared connection. I'll, I'll show you that uh, a little bit later on, but let's set up our shared connection. To do that, we want to go to Smart View, Options. And under the Advanced section here, there's a spot for the shared connection URL. You can see here, it, it gives us the syntax that we need, uh, and it's asking for our server name and a port. Okay, so if you know that information, you can type it in. Uh, or, or you can copy and paste it. So I'm actually going to cancel and going to go over here to uh, my little cheat sheet. And this is all the connection information we're going to be using today. In column B, I have my shared connection information, and column C is my private connection information. We also have two environments we have a prod environment and a test environment. So let's set up the shared connection for the production environment. So I'll copy the URL. And I'll go back to my options and I'll, I'll paste it here. So you can see my server name is demo124etm1. That's our production environment. We'll click OK and now we're ready to connect to SmartView. So to do that, we want to open our SmartView panel and that brings us to our SmartView home page here. And here are our two options shared connections and private connections. We'll choose shared connections and it will prompt us to log in. Okay, notice the URL references EPM1, our production server, which is the same URL I specified under options here. So we'll click connect. And next it wants us to select a server. We'll choose HFM. And when we expand our cluster, we see all of our production HFM our our production HFM applications in the production environment. We're going to connect to prod HFM, so we'll right click, choose connect, and when I'm connected, it'll give me these options at the bottom. Choose ad hoc analysis, and we'll generate an ad hoc grid here. Let's set our point of view. And, and when I refresh, it pulls in the data from my production environment from my prod HFM application. Okay, so that's how you set up a shared connection. Uh, if you wanted to connect to a different environment, you, you can do that. Uh, you just need to change the shared connection URL. So let me show you how to do that. We'll connect next to our, our test environment. So I'll copy the URL and go to options and paste it in. Okay, now here's my demo124 EPM2 
URL. We'll click OK, and now I'm ready to connect to my test environment. Now, one thing about SmartView is that it likes to remember connection information. So when we created this first SmartView grid here, we, we did it based off of the prod HFM application. And so what I like to do when I'm switching environments is to disconnect from everything. And so under the home icon, if you choose disconnect all, that will disconnect all our connections and we can start with a clean slate. So we'll use the same process, choose shared connections. Notice my URL now specifies EPM2, our test environment. Choose HFM. And when we expand our cluster in our test environment, we just have the one test HFM application. Right click connect and then ad hoc analysis. Now, when you're switching environments like this from prod to test or from one environment to another, and you choose ad hoc analysis, it prompts you with these three selections. We're going to choose reuse sheet contents and POV. And when I do that, it now refreshes my grid with the data from my test application. Okay, so that's how you can connect to two different environments using shared connection. Um, if you wanted to connect to two different environments at the same time, it would be difficult to do using shared connections because you'd have to constantly go into your options and switch back and forth between the two URLs, which as you can see, might be a, a bit of a problem. And so that's where private connections come in. So let me show you how to set up a private connection. We're gonna go to a new tab and we'll disconnect all. And now we're gonna copy our private connection URL for our production environment. And to set up a private connection, you wanna choose private connections. And the, this method that we're using is called the named connection method. And I'll explain in a minute. So to set up the uh, private connection, choose the drop down and create new connection. We're gonna choose option one here and then paste in our URL. Next, it's gonna prompt us to log in. Notice the URL, our production environment. When we expand our server and our cluster, we're gonna choose prod HFM and hit next. And now here's why it's called a named connection method is because it's it's requiring us to provide a name for this connection so we'll call it my prod hfm and hit finish and now i have a private connection set up for my production environment we'll right click and choose connect and then ad hoc analysis to generate our grid and we'll set our point Once I refresh, it pulls in data from my production environment. Now, this is the same, this ad hoc analysis, is, it's the same process, whether you're using a private connection or a shared connection. The only difference is the connection method, okay? So I'm gonna give this tab a name. We'll call it my prod HFM. And now we'll set up a second connection, the second private connection for our test application, our test environment. So we'll go to a new tab. We're gonna copy our test URL for our, our private connection test URL. And same method, create new connection, option one, and paste the URL. Choose test HFM. And we'll call this one my test HFM. And finish. All right, I now have another connection for my test HFM app. Choose connect. And one thing to note uh, when you're connecting to multiple environments, sometimes SmartView will prompt you to log in multiple times. 
as you can see here. So just keep that in mind. Ad hoc analysis, set the point of view. And when we refresh, it pulls in data from my test app. Okay, we'll call this tab my test HFM. And now I have two connections, two private connections set up, and I'm connected to two environments at the same time. When I go to my prod HFM, I can hit refresh, and it knows that I'm connected to production, and it pulls in the data from production. And if I go to my test HFM and refresh, it knows I'm connected to the test environment and it pulls in the data from that application. So how do I know which environment I'm connected to? It, the best way to tell is if you're if you're in the My Test HFM tab, we can go to Smart View Connections, and this Active Connections shows us our two connections that we set up. And there's a check mark next to the My Test HFM, so that tells me that I'm connected to that environment. If I go over to my My Prod HFM, and I do the same thing. There's a check mark next to the My Prod HFM connection. So that's how I can tell which environment I'm connected to. Now that only works when you use when you set up named connections. It does not work for the quick connect URL method. Okay, that's the other uh, that's the other method of setting up a private connection, the quick connect method. Now, when you set up a named connection, it also sets up the quick connect URL. So let me show you how that works. Um, we'll go to a new tab here. And if I click the drop down, um, it shows me two sections financial management, these are my named connections, and my quick connects. Now, notice that with the named connections, you can't tell which of these clusters here is test and which is prod. However, with the quick connect URLs, you can tell because it, it shows you the actual URL here. So I know that EPM1 is my test environment, is my production environment, and EPM2 is my test environment. Okay, so it's a little bit difficult to tell when, when using these two uh, named connections here. So the way a quick connect URL works uh, is this way. So we'll open a new grid, and if I want to connect to production, I just use my quick connect URL for production, and it immediately prompts me to log in. And now I can just create a new ad hoc grid. Okay, so it's, that's why it's called a quick connect URL, because you can log in quickly to, uh, to the environment. All right. So let me show you uh, some of the options that you have when using and managing uh, your connections. <clears throat> so what I can do is if I right click on the application here, I have several options displayed. I can create an ad hoc analysis grid. I can rename my connection. So if I choose rename, I can change the MyProd HFM to MyProd HFM2. So I can rename my connection. If I right click, I can also remove that connection if I wanted to. All right, so those, those, those are a couple options you have there. If I choose this drop down here, I can view my named connection. So I have my test HFM and my prod HFM2. All right. I can toggle between those two connections if I wanted to and switch between them if I wanted to connect to either one of them. Lastly, you can delete your connection URLs. So if I hit the drop down, choose delete connection URLs, I can delete my private connection URLs, my quick connect URLs, by placing a check mark and choosing the delete button. Okay. From the same dialog box, I can also delete my shared connections. So 
there's an option for shared connection URLs. I can choose that. And these are the two shared connection URLs that I created under Smart View Options. So I can choose to delete those as well if I wanted to. So once I delete them, if I go back to my options and choose the drop down, my shared connection URLs are gone. Now, remember I said that SmartView likes to remember connection information. You may notice here that it still references my EPM2, my test environment, even though I deleted my shared connection URL. So it, in this dialog box here, it, it will remember the last connection that you specified. So to truly delete the connections, just delete the string out of here and click OK. Then when we go back in, it now just references the placeholder. So it's asking for a server and a port. All of my shared connections have been deleted. So those are a few of the options you have when managing and using your connections. That concludes our demonstration for today. I hope you found it helpful. Have a great day.